Welcome to the Faculty of Engineering, Computing and Mathematics. This faculty offers five different majors and new undergraduate degrees. These majors are Engineering Science, Computer Science, Applied Computing, Mathematics and Statistics, which I'm going to tell you about today, and also Quantitative Methods. You can take these majors as your degree-specific major in any of the undergraduate degrees, or as your second major combined with something else. If you take any of these majors as your degree specific major, you're also going to need to take the required complementary units, but I'll tell you more about those later in the presentation. So let's have a think for a minute about what mathematics and statistics is as a discipline. Mathematics is literally humanity's most powerful tool for comprehending the universe. It's essential for many fields of modern endeavour, such as science, technology, engineering, and finance. It underlies data analysis, forecasting, modelling, decision-making, and problem-solving principles. Mathematicians contribute creatively to almost every aspect of modern life. This major will equip you with the tools and techniques of at least two of the three major disciplines of pure maths, applied maths, and mathematical statistics. Mathematics and statistics can be taken as a degree specific major in the Bachelor of Science or the Bachelor of Philosophy, which is honours. Okay, so let's have a look at an example course study plan for a student in the Bachelor of Science with a degree specific major of Maths and Statistics. Firstly, we're showing you the elective units, so this is the space for elective units or for a second major. These are the degree specific major units for Maths and Statistics. You also need to take four broadening units. You must select this complementary unit also, SCOM1101. So, from a first year's perspective, this is a student in the Bachelor of Science. This student has a degree specific major which could be Mathematics and Statistics or Physics. The student could also have a second major in Maths and Statistics, Physics or Science Communication. If you note, there's electives or units for second major highlighted in orange, the core units in red in the middle, the complementary unit, and the broadening units right up at the end. So, what occupations with mathematics and statistics are out there? So, the biggest sector on our diagram, so these, this is UWA graduate destination surveys, um, most people doing this major actually ended up in the engineering professions. Second biggest sector is other, so that doesn't tell us very much. This is a range of uh, this would have been a range of other occupations that we can't classify. Um, next biggest sector is business and systems analysts and programmers. You see that school teachers also feature in that data. Average starting salaries in mathematics and statistics. So you'll see, basically, at the time of graduation of people in 2009, people doing this major were expected to graduate and start on a starting salary of just under $60,000. It's likely that by now that may even have exceeded $60,000 as a starting salary, especially with the current climate in Western Australia. Students with credit. So if you've already completed some tertiary study and you're going to be applying for credit, which we call advanced standing, please come and speak to us. Um, or you can email us on inquiries-ecm at uwa.edu.au.